Okay, so we're doing the 2015 AP Computer Science uh, free response questions. Uh, we're going to do question uh, 1A. So here's the question. It says, write a static method called ArraySum that calculates and returns the sum of the entries in a specified one-dimensional array. And so here's the following example. shows an array R1 and the value returned by a call to ArraySum uh, with that array, right? So here is, first of all, you need to know that this is the graphical representation they're using for an array. Uh, so basically they're saying that ARR1 is the variable, it's an array variables, and it's index zero contains the value one, and ARR1 of index one contains the value three, and ARR two index two contains the value two and similarly three contains seven and four contains three and then once you give that whole array to the method that you're going to write call array sum it's going to return the value 16 which is the sum of these numbers so is one plus three plus two plus seven plus 3, which equals 16. You can check that as 10 plus 5, 15 plus 1, 16. So it works out. So let's do that. Uh, I'm going to go over to IntelliJ here. And uh, first thing we're going to do is uh, actually, they give you the signature for the method. So I'm just going to copy that. Public static int. Right, and they call it array sum, and it takes as an argument an integer array, which they call our pirate array. So, how are we going to add these numbers? Well, uh, we're going to use a loop. We're going to use a loop and go through the numbers and add them up together. Uh, now, the, the one thing that people who are new to this uh, a common problem they face is you know they think about the, this example one three two seven and they think about how they would do it as a person right as a human i would say you know one plus three is four and then plus two is six plus seven and then plus three so i'm thinking i'm going to add the first two together and then add the third and then the fourth and then the fifth and if you think of it that way that you're going to kind of get stuck because you have like oh well how do i do the first two and then it's like these first two are different from the rest and it makes it harder um so we don't do it this way uh what we do is we're going to create you know a result value uh the result and then that's going to be zero initially i'm just going to add r plus one and then r plus three and then two and then another seven and then i'm adding three so they're all the same i don't have this weirdness with the first two um so let's show you how that works out in code um so i'm gonna have the result variable which is zero and then let's go for it uh a regular for loop and say array dot and then result each time through a for loop I say result equals result plus here's a tricky part array of i remember i is the index so and then oops return result it's still thirty yes it is I'm gonna return the result uh, and that's it. So this is a standard, very standard way of going through an array. Uh, remember, you have to know that array.length uh, gives me the length of the array. That is how many elements there are in the array. And you have to know that array elements start at zero and go all the way to array length minus one. So this is something you just need to know. Uh, array start at zero in Java and pretty much any every other programming language, and and add array dot length minus one, and here we're accessing the value at that index and adding it to result. You have to remember, of course, that result uh, plus equals. You know that's the same as result and equals result plus v or v. Right. things are the same um, so just things you need to know uh, let me just test this uh, 
we'll use the, uh, the same example they use. 13273. Uh, 13273. And then I'm just going to print out array sum of A. And I'm going to run that. And hopefully, yep. I printed out 16 so we're good I mean, that's the same as 16 and you can do it in your head so okay that worked uh, and uh, I think they will mark that correctly I mean definitely works so I don't see why they wouldn't but it's not really the right answer um, the right answer is a little bit different at that you know from a stylistic point of view uh, I'll just um, erase some just write it out for you I'm going to use A here, and uh, I'm going to call this better. Uh, and it starts out the same result. All we're going to do is, instead of a regular for loop, I'm going to use a for each loop. Um, so I'm going to say this is the value of A, and then result plus equal value, return result. And that should do it. So let's test that out. Uh, I raise some better of A, uh, and now when I run that, it should also return 16. So you see, this is we, we call this a for each loop, there are other names for it, um, and uh, it just iterates over the values in A. I mean, this is just a variable, right? I can just call it value, you can call it you know whatever you want, you know, I can call it V or something, and that'll still work. Um, so, but instead of here, we're going i is the index into the array. Here, v is going to be the actual values. So basically, I don't need this i. I don't need to worry about getting the i element. I don't need to worry about the length. And I don't need to worry about the plus plus business, right? So this is a lot nicer. And it's a lot less likely that you're going to make mistakes. When you have a big program, you're always worried about making mistakes, which you do all the time. Everybody does. So we try to pick this simplest method and you can see I mean you can just look at it this is a lot simpler than this so this I think would be the the right the most right answer although both of them obviously actually work um, so use that use the for each when I am now sometimes you can't use it right because you need the I value so sometimes I'm doing something in here where I need to know I the value of I each time around because I'm maybe doing some math or whatever, so you can't always do this. Uh, sometimes you have to go go back to use the i and grab the value, but for this case we can. Uh, so when you can use it, and finally there is uh, another way, which I'm going to call it the cheating way. Uh, array some um, cheat. Problem. It's not really cheat. I don't know. Uh, if they allow this in the test, so array streams a dot sum. There you go. So return that done. Done. So that one's even simpler. Um, uh, let me just uh, finish this. Uh, so run that. That should run sixteen. Um, so this uses uses the stream. This is only works uh, only works in Java eight which is the latest Java, you might or might not have it installed. Um, just came out about a year ago, less than a year ago. Um, and uh, uses uh, this new idea of streams uh, that Java 8 introduces. Uh, so I'm not going to go into how this works, but if you're curious, you know, you should definitely look it up. It's a lot of fun, and as you can see, it saves you time. So if you're a real developer and you're using Java 8 in your project, which you might not be able to, but uh, yeah, you will definitely probably do something like this. Just lots of, even simpler than this. So that's it.